Hi, and welcome back to That Girl's Yoga YouTube channel. Today, I will be guiding you through a meditation to create calmness and peace, not only in the mind, but calmness and peace in the body. There are a lot of things that are going on right now, a lot of, a lot of information. <laughs> Let's just keep it at that. There's a lot of information that's going on. And sometimes that information can get trapped. It can get trapped not only in the mind, but in the physical body. And I, I've had a lot of people share with me that their chest feels tight, uh, their ribs feel tight and their lungs feel tight and their belly might feel a little bit tight and they might be feeling short of breath. And this is a really nice meditation to help you to drop into what you might be feeling. And you might be thinking, well, why do I want to drop into that? It's very important that we learn how to meet ourselves where we are and to be comfortable in a space that can be sometimes uncomfortable. Um, and how we're going to do that, we're going to do that by finding a comfortable seat. You can take a blanket and sit upon a blanket or two. You can use a cushion, um, a bolster will work. You can sit into a chair as long as your spine is nice and tall. You can lie onto the back. I wouldn't advise lying on a bed unless you are ready to, to excuse me, unless you are ready to take a little bit of a nap. <laughs> that might be what you're looking for today. I have a meditation cushion here. This is a really wonderful cushion from a company called Brentwood Home. If you don't remember the name of this cushion, you can DM me or text me and I will give you that information. I also have two foam blocks here. I'm going to place one on either side of my meditation cushion and I'm going to come and have a seat. If you are lying on your back, make sure that you have some support for the head and the neck so that the chin can rest parallel right above the chest, very much like the chin does when we come into a standing or a seated pose. We wanna make sure that the hips are higher than the knees. This is one of the reasons that I use my blocks. Sometimes when we sit in a cross-legged pose, our knees can be up a little higher. And if we support them, then that helps the knees to relax a little bit more so that they aren't higher than the hips. Take your time. If you need to place me on pause, please do so. And then you can go and grab all the things that you need. And then make sure that you're going to feel warm enough. Sometimes you need to bring a blanket to wrap over your lap or over your body, especially if you're lying down. The body temperature will drop anywhere from one to three degrees when we meditate. Now, once you've found your comfortable position, make any last necessary adjustments that you might need to make. And place your hands, if you're seated, on your thighs so that the palms are down. Let your fingers spread out wide and then Wrap the fingers over the front of the knees. Notice how soothing that is. Close your eyes and let your sternum be tall. Let your spine be long. And tune into your breath. Notice if you have thoughts upon thoughts upon thoughts moving in the mind. And please don't get mad at yourself for that. That is okay. That is the mind doing the mind's job. And we'll help the mind out a bit here. Take a breath in through the nose and blow the air out of the lips. Two more rounds of this breath. Breathe in. Pause at the top. Blow the air out. And pause at the bottom. Inhale again to breathe in. Let that breath be deeper than the last two inhales. Pause for a count. Blow the air out as you exhale. 
Release that breath, come back to the natural rhythm of your breath. Breathing in and out of the nose. If that feels uncomfortable for you, please find a breath that's going to feel comfortable. What, the, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to slow the breath. When we slow the breath, we can slow the mind. Let your eyes release down into your heart center. And soften the space between the eyebrows the eyelids, the skin across the forehead, right temple, left temple, right side jaw, left side jaw. Relax to the throat, start to feel the tongue settle where it feels comfortable. Bring your awareness to the space behind the backs of the ears. That's that space right at the base of the skull. Invite the occipital ridge, that's its scientific name. Invite that area to soften. Feel the back of the neck long. Shoulders release back and down. Collarbones broaden to create space for the pectoralis muscle. The ribs soften. Release to the hips, bend the knees, press away from the hips. Notice and observe your physical body. And notice any sensations in the body that might be calling out for your attention. there's some tightness in the body, in the jaw, anywhere in the head, maybe the shoulders, the knee and the chest, the throat, maybe in the ribs or the belly, hips or the low back. If your hips and your low back are feeling tight or uncomfortable, I would advise for you to lie onto a surface and place some support behind the backs of the knees and something underneath your head. A blanket or a pillow will work great as long as the chin can rest comfortably above the chest. Notice the journey you've been through today. Did you work from home? Did you commute to work? Were you looking after children, loved ones? And whatever it is that you've walked through today, notice that journey. space between the eyebrows. Are there unspoken thoughts maybe held in that space between the eyebrows? Or maybe those unspoken thoughts are in the throat. Let all the thoughts come to the mind, but don't allow yourself to become attached to them. Just acknowledge them. See them as they come to the mind. And then give your thoughts permission to release with your exhale. You breathe in, maybe a thought arises. Acknowledge it. And then see it release with the exhale. This is not an easy process. I might make it sound like it's easy, by walking you through it, but it's not. There are days where I can sit in meditation and my mind is all over the place and I just can't drop in. 
And then there are days where I sit down and I automatically drop in. I lose track of time. And it can be just a really wonderful meditation. Sometimes meditations can be challenging. And one of the things that I've learned how to do to help me drop in a little better is to take my left hand and place it onto my heart. So try that with me now. Take your right hand and place it onto your belly or your solar plexus, whatever feels most comfortable for you. Let your hands open out wide and feel the weight of the hands and the fingers on the body. Let this be a reminder to hold yourself in a space of loving kindness. Come from a place of compassion, understanding, and conscious awareness. Conscious awareness invites us to notice. Maybe you had a rough day, and that's okay. But can you sit with it? Can you invite that uncomfortableness to come to the surface. Let it rise into the space between the eyebrows and see it. See it for what it is and thank it for its appearance. There's always a silver lining behind every cloud and as annoying as it is to hear me say something like that, it just is. <laughs> There's always a lesson to be learned. There's always some growth to be had somewhere. The good news is, is that we always have within us anything and everything we've ever needed. The minute we were born, we took our first breath. Our breath has been with us from day one, and it will be with us until the last day. Same goes for the heart. Feel the heart underneath the left hand. And notice the breath in the belly. As the belly gently rises and the hand on the belly gently rises. And feel the belly soften on your exhale as the hand gently releases. Inhale to breathe in through the belly. Maybe a thought arises, acknowledge it. Exhale, feel the belly soften. Feel the thought leave with the exhale. Try that for a few rounds. Focusing just on the belly when you breathe in. There's that thought. Exhale, feel the belly soften. Feel the thought float away with the end of the exhale. Take two more rounds. Let the awareness travel on the inhale from the belly up into the ribs. Maybe you feel the thought rise into the ribs. Acknowledge the thought, thank it, send it on its way with the exhale. Now it's not something that we shoo out of the mind, it's something that we are aware of. We acknowledge it, we see it, and we let it just float away as if we were watching a feather on a soft, gentle creek bed. This feather is just gently floating, very much like our thoughts. And very much like how the water trickles through the creek bed, it's what our thoughts are going to do. I'll let the awareness of the breath travel from the belly when you breathe in to the ribs, and into the chest. Maybe the thought came with you. And then exhale, let the air release through the nose and send the thought out of the body. Continue with this awareness. Breathe in through the nose. Feel the belly rise, the ribs, the chest. Maybe the thought is there. Exhale, feel everything gently release, letting go of anything that is no longer serving of the body. Now continue with that awareness as you place your hands either onto your thighs. You can rest them on your lap. Palms can face the sky. Palms can be down. And the palms
palms are down, if they're on the body or they're on the, on the floor or wherever they are, that is a more grounding meditation. If the palms are flipped upward, that is more receiving. Maybe try both variations until you feel and decide what's going to be the most beneficial for you. We breathe in, we feel the prana, the life force, move in through three-part breath, Durga Pranayama, belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, we feel the chest soften, the ribs soften, the belly soften. Body, letting go of what is no longer serving. The mind, continuing to follow the pattern of the breath. We breathe in, we're present. We breathe out, we're here now. Breathe in, and breathe out. In meditation, we give the mind a job. The job is to follow the breath, to follow that constant. As the body breathes, we receive. We become the witness, the observer, and the receiver. Sometimes the mind will get off track and lose track of the breath. And if that happens, we don't want to scold ourselves or tell ourselves we can't think thoughts. We acknowledge the thought. We think it and we watch it leave with the exhale. the breath in, and we feel the body soften and release into now on the exhale. Our bodies are intelligent. Know how to keep us healthy and how to heal us. And the breath is the guide. Breathe in.
Relax your breath. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now begin to become aware of your surroundings without opening the eyes. Just feel the space that surrounds you. Notice that there is still motion. There's always motion in meditation. There's motion with the breath, motion with the heart, the blood pumping through our body. Just as there is motion always outside the doors and the windows, there is always going to be happening around us and within us. Job is to acknowledge that and to find where we can find space for ourselves to have these moments of calmness and stillness. And make a little bit of movement by wiggling your fingers and your toes. And then very gently, when you open the eyes, try not to focus on one thing. Let the eyes just softly open, almost as if you were about to wake up for the first time today. You can keep the eyes down low. And let the eyes just softly move around. And when you feel ready, Lengthen through the spine and bring your left hand to your heart once more and your right hand onto your back. Close the eyes once more and breathe into this space. Notice if it feels different from how it felt before you came to your meditation. Make sure to feel a sense of calm, a sense of clarity sense of connection. Give yourself a hug. Grab on opposite shoulders and give yourself a nice big hug and thank yourself for coming. Bring your hands together for Anjali Mudra and touch the thumbs into the sternum. And bow your chin into your chest. When we take this time to offer ourselves some solitude and some, some space to step away from the chaos. The chaos doesn't leave us. The chaos is always there. It's, it's how we can find peace within the chaos. And that's when we can allow ourselves to be uncomfortable or find some comfortableness in these uncomfortable situations that can happen in life. And let's next inhale together. Let's all breathe in peace, love, and compassion towards ourselves. As we exhale, let's all share this peace, love, and compassion. Let it spread throughout the room, throughout the world, and throughout the universe. Thank you all for allowing me to guide you through this beautiful meditation today. Have a beautiful rest of your day. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Namaste. Please remember if you like and you're enjoying my videos to please like my videos, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and please share this with your friends and I will continue to bring you guys all of these, these free videos, yoga classes, meditation, and yoga ninjas. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.